Whether we like it or not, online dating has become the new norm. But just because something has become normal doesn't mean it comes without risk. Here to share the red flags to look out for when online dating is Carmelia Ray. Carm, it's good to have you here. And I guess calling it online dating is not even a thing now. It's so standard. It's just dating. But just because it's just dating doesn't mean it doesn't come with risks. So you want to keep it fun, you want to keep it safe, and you've got some tips for us. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the average single person has three or four dating apps on their phone. So mm -hmm. online dating is commonplace. But when you think about it, it's still online. And until you meet that person face to face, you have to do your due diligence. You don't know if that person's real. So take a look at their profile carefully. Do a little digging, but don't go too far down the rabbit hole. Wait until you can meet this person face to face because that's the point of online dating to get you offline. That's right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so in terms of your research, it kind of needs to start, you say, with the photos. If there's yes. only a couple of photos and they're like those glamour shots, like professionally done, you say maybe be suspicious. I would say absolutely be <laughs> suspicious. If there's only one or two photos and it looks like stock imagery, yeah. the line, it's too good to be true, would apply, especially with online dating. When you're trying to show up as an authentic person, you're going to show a couple of photos of yourself in real life. Yeah. Then when that communication becomes difficult and challenging, they don't give you a real phone number. It's always some Google Voice phone or VoIP or they take you to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Now you start to think, is this person real? So let's talk about love yes. bombing. What's that about? So love bombing, I think every man and woman should know about this because men and women can get love bombed. It's when somebody comes hot and heavy mm -hmm. and proclaims, you are the one, I love you, you're perfect for me. They talk about soulmates, mm -hmm. right? And the purpose of a love bomber is so that you can get addicted and feel those dopamine feelings and endorphins and then you get addicted to that right yeah. so love bombers prey on lonely people and so it's really important that if someone's uh, professing all their love to you and they don't really know you that would be a red, red flag and show a lack of emotional maturity to me that just reads fake yes like even in a platonic relationship you just meet somebody and like oh we should hang out it's like no but you don't even know me like right? I could be actually really weird or just not really your type so it's very interesting love bombing so you say one of the risks with love bombing is they get in there and they're loving you up and they're saying oh Carmelia <laughs> look at you you're yeah. just so perfect for me can I have some money yeah so the money thing <laughs> is happening and and obviously it's not as um, superficial and as I just made it seem they really go deep down that road and to a point where you trust and then it's sort of like oh no it's like maybe they have a family member that needs surgery and they need this money unfortunately again we're talking about online dating so there are con artists if you yeah. just saw tinder swindler we saw perfectly normal women get fooled by the tinder swindler yeah. who asked him for money and it was a long-term game a lot of these con artists are there for the long run it doesn't have to be asking you for thirty thousand dollars up front yeah. it could be something as small as you know a loan or maybe house sitting and then next thing you know things are missing in your house and you got to mm. think mm, don't let strangers into your home by the way and Anybody asking you for money, I think, is a red flag. Let's talk about keeping it safe then. Let's yes. say you get to the point where you're actually going to uh, go on a date. It's not a catfish, it's a real person. Um, what are some things you can put into place to make sure that you feel safe in that environment? I mean, once you've established that this person is somebody you want to meet up in person, common rules. Do not go to unfamiliar places. Don't go to uh, dates late at night, yeah. ladies or gentlemen, right? Yeah. Abuse can happen on both sides. It's not gender-based. Yeah. The other thing, which I love, this new dating trend is called dry dating. Okay. Dry dating is where you remove alcohol and substances off the date. That way you can be your true self. And one app that I would recommend, the Woo You dating app, is a Toronto-based app where you can plan the date around an activity or whatever you want and take alcohol right off the table. Oh my God, that sounds so dry. <laughs> <laughs> dry but fun because it forces you to be your real self. Right. Do you need alcohol, Tracy, to have a great time? I sure as heck don't. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking say, of yes, when I, I was, can you imagine? Yes, I do. Yes. Line them up, bartender. Yeah. Um, I, think it's, I think it's great to be safe first, put safety 100%. first. There's too many, uh, you know, insane things that can happen. But uh, another thing I saw 
um, online was actually doing group dates. Yes. So, so let's say you match up with someone on a dating app and then you say to your, I'm not really into this, but I think it's a safe, I, like I don't love group dates. Right. But I think if you meet your match and then you say to your friend who might be also meeting their match, right. let's do it all together. Like six people, we roll from bar to bar or maybe not, maybe from <laughs> trampoline park to trampoline <laughs> park because we're doing Our a train to games night, right? right. Yeah, a games exactly. night. And then, and then you basically have a friend group slash yes. maybe something romantic um, develops uh, from it but the bottom line is stay safe absolutely and that's why there are events like speed dating and I like to host minglers because there's less pressure yeah. and you're in a group so I think that's one of the safest ways to date actually absolutely stay safe out there everyone thanks for the tips Carmelia